Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about something that the whole world is talking about, but I'm going to relate it for my fellow nursing students. So many of us are currently having to study from home because of the infamous COVID-19. I am not going to talk about the virus because I feel like I am not, how do I put this? qualified to talk about the virus um i do want to encourage all of my viewers to only and only get their information from organizations such as the who or the cdc i will have links to both of those organizations websites down below my description box definitely keep up to date with your state officials and how they are handling the situation in your specific state or county but do not listen to social media in regards to numbers or cases or any of the sort remember that social media is still social media so do not let the fear of what others are saying you know control you i do want to touch base really quick on what my nursing program is doing throughout this in crisis i'm gonna look at a calendar to give you guys kind of like a scheme of events i was in school up until thursday march 12th that same night we got an email no we got a phone call we got a phone call like at 11 o'clock p.m saying that our school is going to automatically be shut down until further notice and we are going to move on to online this was kind of like a shock to all of us to get that phone call like at 11 o'clock at night saying the entire university is going online no one is to report to campus um, the following day. We are scheduled to start classes on March 23rd online. We already got notice that we're gonna be using this program called Zoom to kind of um, tune into video conference with our classmates and our professors. And they did mention the possibility of doing online clinicals. Now, the only way I can assume that we can do online clinicals, and let me explain, we are not allowed to go into the hospital setting as students right now and it makes sense we would only be getting in the way although we are knowledgeable and we are a helping hand you don't want someone in the way that's just gonna delay a nurse's response yes i completely understand why we are not allowed to be in the hospital so they are going to do online clinicals i don't know how they're going to do that we do use this program for our med surge classes. It's called Shadow Health, and it's kind of like, I don't know if any of you have I'm super dorky, have ever played The Sims, but it's kind of like The Sims, whereas you have like a character and they're presenting such and such symptoms and you basically have to perform a whole assessment on them. I'm a, I think that's what they can do. This isn't confirmed yet, but when they said online clinical simulation, I was like, they're gonna make us do some shadow help, <laughs> which is fine with, I don't mind, you know, but it does kind of suck because I am going to miss out on my entire um, OB clinical experience. I've never seen a live birth and I probably won't see a live birth unless I work in OB when I graduate or someone in my family decides to pop out a baby and wants to be in the room or I pop out a baby myself. However, that's not gonna stop me from doing what I have to do. My goal is to be a pediatric nurse and I will graduate and be a pediatric nurse despite this global pandemic going on. So we're just gonna get this video started and figure out the best way to take care of ourselves and handle school and still get our degrees. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to say the first thing I recommend to do is to create a schedule. So what I did is I currently wrote down all of my pending assignments. So this is my March calendar, which is now going to be completely changed because we have been quarantined, you know. Um, this is my March calendar. This is my happy planner that I told you guys all about. So what I did was I created a list of my pending assignments. According to your school's regulations, I my school, we are currently, I got an announcement today that all exams are to be canceled or postponed until April 6th. And we are currently starting online courses on Monday, March 23rd, right? I think that's Monday. What I did 
repeating myself is I made a list of all the assignments that I have pending and their new due dates if I do have them available and if not you know kind of keep it aware that this is something that is going to come sooner rather than later the next thing that I am going to say to all of you is stay proactive with your notes the best way to stay proactive with your notes is by actually writing down notes it is very tempting to literally do nothing while we're home. The best thing that we can do and the best thing that I started doing is I started to physically take notes on my iPad. So I'm going through all of my PowerPoint presentations. So currently I am in my PEDS OB class and I did finish the PEDS portion. However, my final is cumulative. It's going to be both PEDS and OB. So what I'm doing is I'm going through my PowerPoints and I'm taking physical notes. I'm creating, I'm using this time that I have to create the type of notes that work for me that perhaps in a regular school schedule, I don't have time to take these notes. If you guys wanna see samples of my notes, I'm more than happy to do a time-lapse video of how I create my notes, especially for PEDS and OB and just try Try to keep it proactive rather than passive because I feel that because we are all home, a lot of us are home with our loved ones, it's very easy to just want to relax and like play around and do whatever you have to do. But if you actively take notes, you're going to be physically doing something rather than just passively sitting and reading and it's really easy to get distracted like that. So highly recommend that and also just zone everyone out, put on some headphones, Put on some like classical music or Zen Buddha, whatever works for you, do that and just try to like zone people out. The next tip I'm going to give my viewers is to find a buddy, find a friend that you can do FaceTime with and schedule coordinated times. If you are not already doing the online school system where you have to FaceTime your professors, find a buddy and FaceTime with them saying, okay, we're gonna FaceTime from one to three and we're gonna work on this together. That is the best way to stay accountable. Sometimes we get friends to go with us for the gym to stay accountable of working out, right? Same principle, same concept. Find someone who's in your class that you can do FaceTime with, you can talk, just be on the phone with and work on those assignments together. Talk about the assignments together that will motivate you that way you won't feel like you're the only one in your house doing work or you or you rather just sit down and whatever because you also have that other person counting on you separate time and coordinate with a buddy best thing to do the next thing i'm going to mention is to also schedule time for yourself now this just goes for studying in general realistically we are not going to be studying for six plus hours so dedicate time to also take a break remember we're no longer driving to and from classes having lunch with our friends in between our classes so it's really easy to burn ourselves out and then just not be productive at all so do take breaks throughout the day kind of create a schedule where everyone in your house is working at the same time that way none of you are getting distracted which is also a really so good another tip to help you all focus i do have an education little folder in my iphone so we're gonna go into the forest app and this app is really good if you need to like stay focused so what it does is you press start and you can set the timer to whatever you want basically what it does is it will not let you use your phone other than this app and the app doesn't really have much but a little picture of a tree and if you try to exit the app and use something else it'll tell you stop fubbing or Put the phone down and if you don't listen you'll kill your little tree <laughs> use the forest app and it will help you kind of stay accountable to the time that you're dedicating and you're only doing that there is another app that's by forest and it's called floral now the only difference between the forest and the floral app as you can see right next to each other is the floral app allows you to invite people so kind of like instead of a group facetime you're doing a group don't touch the phone and if anyone in your group touches the phone every whatever plant you guys are trying to grow together will die it's a good way to stay accountable so if you have that study buddy go ahead and download floral and floral all right guys so just to sum up my tips for getting you know through nursing school online from home you know create a schedule for yourself be proactive where you study get a study buddy set a schedule i'm pretty sure i said set a schedule like so many times and also you know make sure you're not late to your online 
video classes, you know, and fix yourself. Do whatever you gotta do to be ready for the day. Just because you're staying home indoors does not mean you have to like stop brushing your teeth and brushing your hair and taking a shower. Do the things that make you feel productive in the day. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. For all of my other students out there, I wish you guys good luck. Stay focused, stay motivated. Whatever tips and tricks you guys wanna see, please let me know down in the description box below. If you guys wanna see a time lapse of my notes, I think I'm gonna make one for you anyway. So if you wanna see it, great. If you don't wanna see it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.